a split phase refactoring is one where you split a tangled code that did more than one thing into distinguished phases. So you can more easily and independently change each of the resulting phases. And it typically consists of a sequence of smaller refactoring steps. The method I have here is one that prints an invoice and it clearly violates the single responsibility principle. It may change for different reasons. On the one hand, the calculation of the amount or the credit might change. On the other hand, the representation of the string might change. It might change to something like HTML or maybe there is one customer that needs a text email and the other one needs a HTML email or an invoice. So for that reason, to make the change more easy, I will do uh, the split phase refactoring. And to be safe, I will start running my tests continuously. So whenever I make a change like this and save, the build is running and shows me if I'm in the green or not. Right now I'm in the red as I made the change. I broke it. So let's fix that again. Save. Now I'm in the green and I should only need uh, a single line. I think that's fine for me. Yes. So I can see I'm in the green. That's enough for me. Let's get started. What about this piece of code? So I do have a format here. Where is the format used? It is only being used down there. So let's move it down to where it is used. Save. Everything still works. Nice. So let's go to the loop. What is about this disamount? The disamount is being calculated first and then it is added to the total amount. So let's extract the calculation of the disamount. Extract method. Get this amount is a good name for me. Extract. Actually, I don't really like this name. I would like to call it what it is. It's a performance. Don't deprivate. Now, I should be able to move the adding to the total amount up here. I can inline this, save, still in the green. So what I really would like now is I would like to extract a method that calculated the total amount. For this I would move down uh, the total amount. I would then inline the play to get rid of it here because it's getting in my way of doing a split loop. Inline. Save. I will now split the loop, copying the header of the loop, closing the loop, pasting the header again. So I'm looping twice over the same data. Save. I'm still in the green. Nice. So what I can do now is I can extract the calculation of the total amount. So what up next? There is the discredits being calculated and they are being added to the volume credits. So that's basically the same thing. I can extract a method here, get discredits. I can inline this temporary and I can slide the volume credits down extract the method that calculates the volume credits. So what am I left with? 
there is the result, I think I can move it down. Save. Nice. As you can see, I already kind of did the splitting of the faces. So I have calculations in the top and I have actual printing in the bottom. And I can more easily change one or the other. So I could go further than this. For example, I could um, move this get total amount method to the invoice. Why have it here when it should be clearly in the invoice? I think the total amount is using the get this amount of the performance. So first I will move out the this amount to the performance object. Then I will move the get total amount to the invoice object. Save. It's a little bit better now as the object that is carrying the data is doing the actual calculation, right? So I want to do the same for the volume credits. I will move the get this credits to the performance object. And then move this method to the invoice object. Save. And we're in the green. Nice. Basically, I can now do the inline here because it's only used once. And the same goes for um, the volume credits. I can do the inline. Well, now I am only in a single phase, but that's fine. If I wanted to decouple the printer even more from the calculation, and for example, I could then use something like a data object to pass to path the um, invoice data to the actual printer, I could extract the actual printer which is now, I would say it's a, a plain text printer because it's using plain text. There is no HTML text whatsoever. So what I would do then is I would extract the um, primitives that I'm using here, like the customer as parameter. Would do the same with the um, total amount and with the volume credits. As a result, the invoice is not anymore a parameter to my plain text printer and I can start extracting a parameter object. So let's do that. Extract parameter object. For now I will use an inner class and I will call it invoice data. It tells me that there are problems. I'm not concerned because I do have a unit test that works for me. So I will just continue the refactoring, save and ask my test. I'm still in the green, so I should be fine. So what I do have here now is basically if I extract the variable, I do again have a splitting of the phases. I do have a phase where the invoice data is calculated and another phase where the text is printed. And this was the split phase refactoring.